changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule right. of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth out. in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Oh my God. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling, must seem like an 18-carat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name?
Well... <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Well... American. Really? <laughs> Some of these developers might be a little bit racist. Caucasian. Uh, let's see. Let's customize. So this is going to, uh, yeah. Let's see what this starts looking like. <laughs> Go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Mm. The nose. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Ladies, this guy is single. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hold on. Gotta make it just right. Oh no. Oh my god. This guy's so pale, he glows in the dark. What's that? What's the haircut that makes you? Ooh. Okay, up to the next one. Here, okay. We got survivalists. Gunslinger. Soul patch. Oh, goat. The Gettysburg. Chopped. Chopper. The strap.
Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Yep, it's over. It's over. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Yeah. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to worry about so that. Far. Yet. Um, I'm going to start taking all your stuff. What pack? That'll be useful. Mad Axe. Ooh, that. That will also be good. That. Paperweight. Yes, for real. I think it's basically like the Nuka Cola in this game. Like Fallout has Nuka Cola. Well, Fallout 3 has Nuka Cola. I think it's You know how James from Pokemon is well bottle caps is basically the currency in this game. So maybe James from Pokemon is up to something. Maybe maybe this game predicts the future and we're gonna have to the bottle caps becomes the currency. Who knows? James will be one rich man. Some of y'all probably don't really know what I mean. This game and Pokemon game is completely different. Y'all might be y'all might be seeing this after Pokemon Scarlet's done. That's vodka. That's yeast. Toilet plunger. Is yo yo the next trader said like what is what the, what is all this crap you have? I know that crap. Globe apparently can't. Okay, let's see. Okay, so let's see, we got five points. Intelligence, this basically helps, helps you level up faster. Agility, I can kind of live without. Um, charisma.
Look at that. Maybe them bullets done your brain some good. Well, we know your vitals are good. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you another day. Yes, that's fine. I'm just going to continue taking all your stuff. Where are you? Oh, you're in here. Sitting on his couch. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. He's House. Perfect. The mall. Night. Proud. Bandit. Reasonable. <laughs> Porch. Mother. <laughs> Sometimes when you give tests like this, you learn more than you was hoping for, and I reckon that ain't always the best thing. But I guess maybe it explains a thing or two about your predicament. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Okay. How about this one? <laughs> I'm too embarrassed to say what it looks like. Last one. <laughs> beard man. It, kind of, it does look like, look like a beard man, but... I'm gonna say beard man. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Okay. We'll say medicine. No. I do want to unlock stuff early. So let's go with lock pick. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out. You so got a naked picture of your, of your wife? Medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. She's got the two traits. Okay, let's see. Built to destroy. Yeah. Last shot. That. Let's go with that. That about does it. Come with me. I'll see you out. I can see myself out. Oh, come on. I, had to, I really had to wait on, on this slow old man. Hurry up, Grandpa. Here. These are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. Oh, I don't getting... mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. 
Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Shit. What you now? should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Poor but uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> I would get completely bodied. I would get completely bodied. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> 